You're checking out your countdown. Sri Lanka's only uh, home music countdown, the Yes Homegrown Top 15. And let's get back to uh, getting to know Madara because she is one of those artists that's a must check out Sri Lanka um, because because she is fresh and she's got some amazing new music. And I think single number two on the countdown, that deserves a little explaining. But before that, girl, what are your influences? Honestly, I draw inspiration from just about anything. A lot of movies gives me ideas for things like music videos and teasers, stuff like that. And Artwork gives me ideas for photo shoots, and um, I also take, like, I, I do photography on the side as well, so it's just a hobby of mine, so that really gives me like ideas for shoots that I want to create as a as a content creator but if we're talking music in itself inspirations rise from like poems books and other music obviously as well my music tastes range from anything like G Herbo to um, Daniel Caesar to Erica Badu and um, I've always said that music has no expiration date so no boundaries no um, like you can't box in someone with music so i mean why not go all out and explore neat tell us about your new uh well single number two on the low so on the low believe it or not i wrote it in about 10 minutes i wrote it to a random youtube beat because uh, one day i just heard this song and it reminded me of this tony morrison quote and that quote always stuck with me like ever since i heard it and basically it goes something like don't ever think i fell for you or fell over you i didn't fall in love but i rose in it which came to fill in my first verse of on the low i just like recreated those lines to fit what i what i was saying into like basically into my own words so i related this to my life and how i was feeling at the moment and that you know that gut feeling of just knowing that someone's trying to play you but honestly like it just turns out that they failed because it didn't like it didn't turn to a loss for you it just turned into a lesson and you grew from the experience and rose from it so my producer ivy then made my vision come to life because he really captured what I was saying and he created the exact sound that came with that feeling so On The Low was basically sitting in my vault for about a year before its release because I wanted to capture the perfect visuals to do the song Justice, one of my favorite songs that I've ever written and you can check out the music video now, it's on YouTube, um, shot by the one and only 905 Visuals The Yes Homegrown Top 15 Exclusive and now What's going on? This is Madara and here's my new single on the low premiering on the yes homegrown top 15 if you're feeling this track make sure you keep requesting it